Ali, this is Legends Part 3. This is the issue that gives us the first appearance of the Suicide Squad. That is them down at the bottom of the cover. And they are at Mount Rashomon. And on top of it is Brimestone, the baddie. And then in the background, that is four superheroes. One of whom is very out of place with the other three. This was DC's big 1986 crossover. And it was really an advertisement. It was a catalogue that was polished by a great creative team to seem like more than just a preview of all the different comic books that DC offer. The general public have turned on superheroes after some media manipulations. And so now they want to ban superheroes. They want them to be held accountable for their actions. They want rid of them. That sort of thing. This story posits that cancel culture was actually invented by Dark Seed. One of the new heroes that this story is setting up and establishing is Willie West as the Flask. This happened at the end of Christmas on Infinite Earths. Willie West became the Flask. But it was here where they started to actually do stuff with him. After this, a new Flask series was launched with him as the star and it lasted for ages. Then we have our Suicide Squad. The name was old, but the team was new. The lineup we have in this issue is very much the classic lineup. We have Boomerang and Cara Delevingne. They will both be main characters in the subsequent ongoing. And then we have Blockbuster Vidya, who is... He's the one who is there to die, obviously. But I'd even say he rounds out the team nicely. He compliments the others by being something they otherwise didn't have. A big, strongman character. And then the rest of the team is... Tiger Stripe, Robocop 2014, and Death Shot. All but Blockbuster Video will continue on into the Suicide Squad series that starts after this. And all five of them will stick with it for most of the run. Cara Delevingne and Robocop 2014, they bow out of it for a while. But they are still in more issues of the series than they are not. The squad are being sent after the big fire monster, Brimestone. We have seen a lot of him in this crossover so far. And I quite like Brimestone. But the crossover does a bit of a swerve. And Brimestone is finished with by the end of this issue. We also have Captain Marbles. The real one, Biffy Baston. And he is upset and blaming himself for mistakes made as Captain Marbles. Which led to a lot of property damage. And also the loss of a life. I'm not even acknowledging the Darkseed bits. 
Dark Seed does what he does all crossover, which is watch things happening on Earth and laugh about it. So the Suicide Squad, they are dispatched to Mount Rashomon to stop Brimestone. And we get to see the team in action. And this is really good stuff. We get glimpses of each of the different characters and their abilities and skills. We get some of their personality mixed in. Cara Delevingne is their ace in the all. She is the only one with real powers, to be honest. It's a bit like the film. What good is a bloke with boomerangs or a martial arts master against a gigantic fire monster? Another subplot is Batman and Robert. Robert has been beaten up badly by an angry mob and he is in hospital. And maybe Batman should have taken this as an in that Robert is in a lot of danger and is liable to get hurt as his sidekick. But the lesson doesn't stick and so in a year's time Robert will be beaten to death with a crowbar. We cut back to the Suicide Squad and their scenes are the standout of the issue and the entire crossover. They jump off the page. It might be the case that this has been written by John Ostrich so he has a vested interest in Suicide Squad and them working as an idea. But they are the most captivating thing in Legends. And even though, like I said, the team are not perfect for this fight, it still shows how someone like Deathshot can contribute to this fight. Really well done. Oh, and here is the bit where Blockbuster Vidya dies. I almost forgot to even point it out. That is how expendable some of the characters on Suicide Squad can get. Brimestone, he picks up Blockbuster Vidya and crushes him in his hand, which burns him to death. And Blockbuster Vidya met a fate much like it did in real life. Unsurprisingly, Cara Delevingne wins the fight and defeats Brimestone for us. And then she briefly gans mad with power, which is sexy, but also a reminder that these are not heroes. They are baddies and criminals and they are only doing good because they are forced into it. There is a little bit more of comic after that but I think I'll end it there. I didn't have much to say about Superman having a chat with Ronald Reagan, the actor. Or another scene of Biffy Baston crying some more. But this is fantastic. If you are a fan of Suicide Squad or you like the concept, you couldn't really wish for a better introduction than this. I will give Legends 3 a 7 thumbs up.